Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam. The span of the beam is given as 6 meter. In this beam there is a point load 72 kN. It acts at a distance of 4 meter from the left support. The support A sinks by 6 mm. EI is given as 8000 kN meter square. Now from the point B about the point A we are going to find the bending moment values. In this case we have to follow left hand side rule clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. First let us take RB it is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6 6 into RB we will get 6 or B and the diagram will be in the shape of a triangle. Now let us take MB. It is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. The diagram will be in the shape of a rectangle. Now let us take the point load 72. It is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. 72 into 4 we will get 288. Let us keep this diagram as number 1, this one as number 2 and this one as number 3. Now let us find area 1. We know that it is a triangle. We know the area formula of a triangle. Half into BH. Here the breadth is 6 and the height is 6 or B. For area 1 we will get 18 or B. Now let us find area 1 x1 bar. We know area 1. Let us apply that. We have to find x1 bar. For this triangle, the centroid distance towards the left is 1 upon 3 into b. Here the breadth is 6. So 1 upon 3 into 6. For area 1 x1 bar, we will get 36 or b. Now let us find area 2. We know that it is a rectangle. When we multiply MB with 6, we will get the area. And we know that it is negative. Now let us find area 2 x2 bar. We know the area 2. Let us apply that. For this rectangle, the centroid lies in the center. So to find the centroid distance, we have to divide the length by 2. For area 2 x2 bar, we will get minus 18 MP. Now let us find area 3. We know that it is a triangle. We know the area formula of a triangle. Half into BH. Here the breadth is 4 and the height is 288. For area 3, we will get minus 576. Now let us find area 3 X bar 3. We know the formula to find the centroid distance towards the left. 1 upon 3 into B. Here the breadth is 4. So 1 upon 3 into 4. For area 3 x bar 3, we will get minus 7, 6, 8. We know that either in the support A or in the support B, there is no slope. In this case, area upon EI will be equal to 0. There are 3 area values. EI is constant. We can take it on the other side. 0 into EI, we will get 0. Let us apply the values of areas so that we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 1. We know that the support A sinks by 6 mm. When we divide that by 1000, we will get into meter. Now we have to check the level. The support A is lower than the support B by 0 0.006 meter. In this case, area X bar upon EI will be equal to minus 0 0.006. Since the support A is lower than the support B, this value should be applied as negative. Let us take EI on the other side. We know that EI is 8000. 0 0.006 into 8000, we will get 48. Finally, we can make this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 2. 
by solving these two equations we can get rv and mv by using the rule sigma v is equal to 0 we can find ra now let us take moment about a and find the moment ma let us assume that it is acting in the anticlockwise direction rb is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6 the point load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4 ma is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive finally for ma we will get a positive value that means our assumption is correct ma is acting in the anticlockwise direction here you can see the shear force calculations here you can see the shear force diagram now let us find the bending moment in the point a in the point a we have ma which is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative now let us find the bending moment in the point c ma is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative or a is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4 for the bending moment at c we will get 40 kN meter to find the bending moment in the point b we can use left hand side rule in the point b we have mb which is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative here you can see the bending moment diagram in these two points the bending moment becomes zero we can make sections in the beam and to find the distances you can see that i have made two sections the first section i have made at a distance of x from the point a the second section also i have made at a distance of x from the point b in this section we can use right hand side rule and find the value of x and in this section we can use left hand side rule and find the value of x let us apply both of the values now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video